If had to describe Dixie in one word, what would it be and why? Nuts. There's, there's always something going on every day. Best memory throughout high school. It would definitely have to be the road to state. What's it like to be a student at Dixie? It's pretty nice. I don't think I'm going to miss Dixie. I think I'm going to miss the people at Dixie because I feel like you can create that kind of community anywhere. You don't just, you don't have to be in the halls of Dixie to hang out with your friends. Okay, if you had to describe Dixie in one word, what would it be and why? Uh, senioritis. We never do anything. We're all very unmotivated this year. Uh, friendly because everyone that goes here is pretty friendly. Uh, turns. I would describe Dixie as exceptional. Uh, there's great opportunities to learn. There's great classes, great teachers. I feel like I'm truly prepared for college from my Dixie education. Posturous. Loud. Just goes. Easy. Drama. There's a lot of drama going on. There's like drama every week. Probably live. It's, it's live here. Fantastic. One word, evolution. Probably have to be savage. Savage, yeah, savage. Savage. We do some savage stuff. Unique. There are a lot of different people. Hi. Because one, every single day is a new adventure for every single student here. We're learning, we're having fun. Just great experiences here. Bland. Nuts. There's, there's always something going on every day here. Whether it be crazy or just something's always going on. The place is wild. Nuts. This is a crazy school. Filled with lots of kids. All right, Trey. What's it like to be a student at Dixie? Uh, to be a student at Dixie, it's fun. It's uh, real great, and you have a lot of fun here. Just every day is a great day for me. I come to school. I'm happy. I love all my all my peers. All my teachers, especially this time of year, it's just a solid, great experience here. It's pretty nice. Louder. It's really nice. There's not much to worry about. Uh, I mean, with my schedule, there isn't, but... It's pretty interesting. It's fun. A lot of good times. Learn a lot. It's A1. I think it's a pretty good school. Pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not too bad. For real good. Yeah, they teach you. They teach you how to live on, how you, how to live your life, make you college ready. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's always, uh, it's always a great day here. At Plans after high school. <laughs> Where are you going and what are you studying? College and computer Where? informatics at NKU. Northern. I'm going to Eastern. Four years. Um, I'm going to go to University of Kentucky to study business um, or pursue my rap career, whichever one uh, sticks out in the long run. College somewhere, EKU. Go get my law school on, maybe. I plan on going to UK to major in business and fashion. I'm going to attend Christ for nursing. Transylvania Pre Health. I'm going to go to NKU and uh, major in education to become a teacher. Uh, Gateway Automotive Engineering. To study business at Eastern Kentucky University. And the UC, business management, maybe. I'm attending Columbia University in Manhattan, studying chemical engineering. We're gonna put in some work, get it done, come back, make some, make some guala. Go to college and become a forest firefighter. I plan to go to Western Kentucky to become an architect. I'm attending the University of Cincinnati and I'm double majoring in mathematics and physics. Biggest challenge as a senior? I'd say waking up for school. Yeah, so senioritis is real. Not being a party every day. Coming to school. Yeah, being <laughs> here all the time. Not being, or being able to walk. <laughs> Staying motivated and actually doing any work in class. Doing work. Just keeping up with grades because everything seems really pointless because it is. Applying for college. Staying motivated. What's it like being a senior in high school, Trinity B? Oh, for Trinity B? It's 
pretty fun. Had a lot of good times. A lot of my buds. The best feeling in the world. Like you get to sit outside, eat lunch, you have carnivals during the fall. You're gonna get out two or two days early. And like also the class is fantastic. It's it's surreal. It's like it's it's here and it's happening, but it's almost like it's not like I haven't gotten it sunk in that uh, I'm gonna be like a grown up and on my own. It's a little nerve wracking because uh, you're gonna go into the real world next year and that's kind of scary. And it's that transition period between childhood and adulthood and you get uh, a lot of conflicting feelings and thoughts. So you just gotta make it through and take the next step, I guess. Who are your favorite I... teachers? Mr. Davey. I love Mr. Davey. Miss Bundy. Oh yeah, Miss Bundy's cool too. I'm gonna have to say Miss Meyer. Mr. Stull, uh, Miss Conley, and Miss Hewn. Miss Poston. Mrs. Conti, Mr. Hicks, Mr. Hicks, and, Hicks. and, and Ms. Ms. Taylor. Taylor Gang. Ms. Taylor Gang. Ms. Taylor Gang. No. Just had those teachers the Great most teachers, for math and science. Great subjects. Always showing support. Always putting me through. Uh, it's Ms. Stenler. Mr. Kaney. Mr. Davey. I'm just going through. Travi B, best memory throughout high school. Best memory throughout high school. It would definitely have to be the road to state. The road to state. I'm going down to the state for money. Probably the SK Dixie game was the best. I'd probably say after we beat SK in uh, the finals to go to state. It's our Moorhead State Blitz 5 tailgate game. Simon Kitten coming in with some bad thoughts and an 8-0 record, but Dixie had won its last six in a row. And it's the Dixie Colonels taking it to Simon Kenton early. Senior quarterback Drew Moore around left end. Dixie starting to run some rings around Simon Kenton early in this game. An early 12-0 lead. Pioneers get on board with this. Doink! Off the crossbar, it's good. And Brandon Phillips had a nice view of that field goal for the Pioneers. But mostly what Brandon and everybody else saw was a little Dixie domination. Drew Moore again into the end zone. Dixie with a huge win in Class 6A, 36 to 10. The Colonels hand sign in Kenton. It's first. If you had to describe Dixie by one song, like what's been the anthem for the senior class this year, what would it be? Sheriff's Banger was a good song. SBK. Sheriff's Banger of Savage Patch Kids. I'd say Black Light by the SBK Kids. Black Light. <laughs> Favorite senior memory school-wise was definitely playing Blacklight at prom. Playing our uh, song at prom. I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna let them talk about it for a little bit. This is the hottest track of 2015. I mean, all I want to say is thank you for support. Uh, that's pretty cool, and uh, don't turn up too hard tonight, little children. Coming right out of Dixie Heights, got enough ice to sink the Titanic. We're about to drop this. Go crazy. Thank you. Have a good night. This one's for the Heights, everybody. Send it over here. Someone send it over here. I'ma blow these stacks, so send another round for him. Dan dan dancing for that paper, cla clapping in the mirror. She motivated for it, send another round for him. Send it over here, someone send it over here. I'ma blow these stacks, so send another round for him. Dancing, dancing for that paper, cla clapping in that mirror. She motivated for it, send another round for him. Biggest regret during high school, what's something you never did that you wish you would have, or something you wish you would have capitalized on, or something you wish you would have done that you or never wouldn't did? have done? Not playing football all four years of high school. Not working on music with the people I work on music with now, earlier in my high school career. It's a cheating. There's a few things I wish I never did. Played on the varsity basketball team. Probably would have let go of some of the friends and relationships I've gained with people. Will you miss Dixie? Yeah, I definitely will miss Dixie. I miss the people at Dixie. I'll miss the teachers. Yes and no. Most of the people I miss, I miss a good percentage of them. I miss the teachers. I miss some people. Because yeah. I like, no, I won't see them ever again too much. Yeah, some, some, some parts. 
Yeah, I'll miss high school memories. I'm sure, like once I'm out and I can't come back really, I will. I'll probably miss Dixie when I'm sitting in my college dorm alone. I definitely will miss my friends, uh, miss the times we spent together. And yeah, I will. I will miss friends, a lot of good teachers. Thank you.